Good morning all. Let's look at the poem Do not go gently into that good night by Dylan Thomas. Dylan Thomas, he was one of the greatest poets of the 20th century. He was born in 1914 and died in 1953. He was a Welsh poet. He is famous for his work A Child's Christmas in Vale, Fern Hill and Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night. This poem Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night is a villainally poem. That means it has 19 lines. It has five tercets and a concluding quatrain. That means five stanzas with three lines each and the last stanza has four lines. It has two refrains and two repeating rhymes. Though the poem was dedicated to his father, David John Thomas, it contains a universal message. The poet encourages the dying, the sick and the elderly to resist death, to fight bravely against death. Here, the poet is experiencing the death of his father. While witnessing the death of his father, it makes the poet to think about death in a general way. He presents different kinds of men and thinks about how they will, they will have to face death, how they will resist death, how they will fight against death. Now, Moving on to the stanza wise summary of the poem. First stanza Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Here the poet says that do not allow death to take you. Instead, you must resist death. He persuades his father to resist death as much as he can. Here the words night, close of day, dying of the light. These all are the metaphors of death. Now second stanza. Though wise men at their end know dark is right. Because their words had forked, no lightning they. Do not go gentle into that good night. Here, the poet presents the wise men. The wise men, they knew that dark is right. That means death is inevitable. But they don't just accept it. Here, the word lightning is used as a symbol. It is used to describe the feeling of incompleteness. Here the wise men, they haven't achieved anything. They haven't made any mark in this world. But they too fight against death. Now third stanza. Good men, the last wave by. Crying how bright their frail deeds might have danced in a green bay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Now the poet shifts to the good men. Good men are those who have done great things for the mankind. Here they wish to live some more time. So, they try to resist death. They fight bravely against death. Last way, it's a metaphor for last generation of good men. Now, moving on to next stanza. Wild men 
who caught and sang the sun in flight and learned too late they greet it on its way do not go gentle into the good night the poet describes about the wild man and here she say he says that they are busy in celebrating the sunrise but they fail to notice that they are nearing the sunset but they too fight against death next stanza grave men near death who see with blinding sight blind eyes could blaze like meteors and be gay rage rage against the dying of the light here the poet is talking about grave men the word grave has two meaning first one is seriousness and the second death these men knew that they are weak and losing their sight but they believed that they can still use their inner strength to fight against death the last stanza and you my father there on the sad height curse bless me now with your fears tears i pray do not go gentle into that good night rage rage against the dying of the light finally the poet directly addresses his father he asks his father to bless him to curse him with his fierce tears he pleads his father not to give in to death but to fight against death through this poem dylan thomas conveys the message that death is inevitable death cannot be avoided it is natural but it can be challenged that's all for today thank you